You're all ready to ignore me. I can tell. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm excited to be with you guys here today. So happy Friday. Um, you know, I love when people have to be forced to sit and actually listen to me. So I will be watching that your eyes don't glaze over. And I'll be probably wondering if you really just would rather be checking your Facebook <laughs> likes to see how many people are liking your social media posts. But, um, you know, I'll make sure I throw in a little mistake here and there because everybody knows that no one really pays attention until somebody makes a mistake. So I'll make sure that I do that a little bit for you. Um, I do want to give a shout out before I start to um, DQ, David Quisenberry, who's not here. Hi, David. But he's listening and um, watching. Oh, he's listening. All right. So I just wanted to take the time to um, tell you guys how awesome he is. He's been a great business coach for me, basically investing his time and sweat into minimizing my word vomit into appealing content. Okay, so you know, I can't be good at everything, but what I've learned is, you know, every person um, can be a teacher and every experience or can be an educator. So if we allow it to be, you can write that one down because that's actually an original. So you guys can go ahead and write that down. All right, so anyway, a um, little bit of an intro Mosaic Fitness and Nutrition. I'm going to talk about how to help you fix the things you don't like in the mirror. Tracy Robert, I'm a nationally certified personal trainer and nutrition coach since 2002. So um, before we go there, I'm going to share with you guys a little bit about who I am. So I think this is really cool because he's got a screen that I can swipe. I'm feeling really tech savvy. So here I am. Everybody <coughs> look at the screen and say, oh, yeah, there I am as a kid. All right. So um, I am from Buffalo, New York. Awesome people, awesome food, awesome weather. <laughs> no. You have to usually look for your car about six months out of the year because it's buried under the snow. We probably need a lot of roofers there. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it's funny because you still have to get to work and they don't shut anything down. I mean, it has to be like a tragedy in order to uh, actually have to shut the schools and your workplace down. I'm also proud to say that I am, uh, you know, part of an area where the sports teams there have come in second, and I believe that um, it's more than any other team in America. So go Buffalo Bills and Sabres. <laughs> yes, for those of you in my family watching and my friends, I love Buffalo. Um, I really thought that there was going to be a decline in the male population after Scott Norwood uh, missed the field goal. That's why I had to move to Texas. So, pretty normal childhood. Okay, restrictive parents didn't want the boys to be chasing me, um, but they did let me do track. So, um, that gave the boys the hope that they could be chasing me, but they were still too slow for this slow jump. Okay, so um, I ran track, I did uh, baseball as a cheerleader. Um, all growing up. As you can see, I was always pretty active as a kid. And so in college, I decided to um, study education because I like when people are forced to listen to me and I have the stage, as well as um, I minored in biology because I loved human anatomy and physiology um, and boys because now I could chase the boys because I didn't have the parents around me anymore. So, all right, fast forward um, to now I have um, a loving husband and I have three great kids, Tristan, Chloe, and Ryan. Um, Chloe is my bonus child. She just actually had a birthday. She turned 21 yesterday. So she's really excited because she gets to have her first alcoholic beverage, <laughs> legally. <laughs> right. So, um, and Christmas is my favorite season. I, put the, I thought this picture was hilarious. This is the Griswold like Christmas. It took us so long to get this picture. I got my two crazy Pomeranians that you can't even see in there anyway. But my, my house is the house that I bring the strays in and it's really chaotic. And just like in the Griswold Christmas, it really is the seriously Clark, those little lots aren't twinkling because everything in my house is Christmas vibe. I love Christmas, I love lights. They can't start the music soon enough for me. So I know everybody else complains about that, but I love it. So, um, I have been a fitness and nutrition expert since 2002. So um, I have tried it all, all different types of uh, genres of fitness. I've worked in uh, different settings. I've worked for the town of Little Elm and the city of Frisco where I did more fitness manager um, type positions there. And worked with chiropractors doing rehab, um, sports performance, you name it, I did it. So I also, um, you know, I have such a, a, a passion for fitness and nutrition, but what I discovered too is that people are, 
usually looking mm -hmm. to change things about them. So it, it becomes this place where it's not just about the exercises, right? It's not just about the food, but it's about so much more than that. And so I, it led me on more of a self-discovery for myself. And I love to, you know, do all kinds of groups like that and work on myself to better myself, physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, all that kind of stuff. Um, so life was going, you know, relatively well. Um, and then the beginning of 2015, I was diagnosed with cancer. So that was a shock. Um, and that was a year of uh, a lot of pain and a lot of loss, which I'm probably still grieving from now. But, um, you know, you lose a lot with cancer. There's a lot of cuts with cancer. There's a lot of things that you lose. You lose hopes and dreams. I had just turned 40. I was kind of looking forward to like new beginnings of life. Um, I lost my job, and I think I lost a lot of my self-identity because here I was the fitness and nutrition expert, right? And so I, I know that there were times where I would talk to groups and I would give them the sense that like, this is what you need to eat so you don't get cancer, and this is what you need to do, and all that is well and good, but we're still not God. And um, I didn't only get cancer, but I got colon cancer. And I had lived a lifestyle for probably at that point about 15 years where I literally, you know, I was making shakes with kale and spinach and lots of fruit and all those different types of things that we tell people to eat to not get cancer. So it, it really messed with who I was as an individual. And then coming out of that, now what? What do I do with this? Do I even feel like I can have a place to stand on now? So to make it even more fun, at the end of 2015, Six hours after my last chemo treatment, my husband ends up in the ER with what we like to call the trifecta. So it went from an ankle sprain to blood clots in his legs and lungs into a rare disease called CRPS. So um, it is actually coined the suicide disease because a lot of people end up taking their life from it. You are in pain 24 seven. And so here now we were. Um, trying to weave through this puzzling experience, trying to figure out what to do. So the shirts that we have on there, that um, out of his experience, we birthed um, the Burning Limb Foundation. So it's a foundation where we help people seek out alternative treatments because that is actually what helped him. He went to a doctor in Arkansas for 10 weeks that actually um, gave him his life back in a way. We had that piece of the puzzle fixed, so we're still working on the, the Venus stuff still at this point. So um, after that, I had, you know, with me and, and my cancer journey, you know, it really broke not only my body, but probably my spirit. I and mean, when you're like on the bathroom floor, like reading the book of Job, like, you know, like, you know, it's pretty much over. Like, I mean, I was like, Job can meet me where I'm at. He understands my pain, you know? So that's, that's just kind of where we are at. Just what do we do with all these broken pieces? Okay. So. Mosaic, that's part of the reason why Mosaic is the beginning of my business, because it's about assembling those pieces, those broken pieces. Um, so this led me to, um, during my recovery journey, it led me to learn how to heal myself from the inside out even more, so I began to research even more about cellular health. Um, and God's been using these events to, number one, help me to find those who, you know, don't like what they see in the mirror, which can be important, but also too, don't like how they feel on the inside and want to change that. So, um, slip over here. So my target is not, you know, bodybuilders, performance athletes, um, but those who need to change from the inside out. That's kind of who I'm looking for, especially those who have had some type of injury or illness. Um, where, you know, it, it has affected their body, their brain, their self-confidence. Um, those are the people, and, and honestly, when I look back at my life, that has always been my journey. I've always been a very em empathetic person who, um, I love hearing people's stories, and I want to be the person that can um, help motivate them and empower them in order to be their best selves. So that's kind of where um, my business model came from. So I do this through fitness, nutrition. I'm also a group leader with some self-discovery groups um, where I do some speaking and, and group leadership type of activities. Yeah. So, all right, so let's get into the nuts and bolts here. So Mosaic Fitness, so this is um, one of the aspects that I um, bring to the table as a trainer. So helping you change from the inside out, I've coined myself 
your fitness retrainer. And so the reason I did this actually came from a couple clients because what they said to me is, you help retrain you know, my body, my brain, and my bad habits. So that's kind of how, where my specialty programming comes in. That's what separates me from other trainers is um, I'm able to, I, used, I like to tell my clients, I basically look at you and I just take your skin off and I'm looking at how the bones are moving and how the muscles are moving and how to get you back into a place where you can be realigned. And also, you know, I have people that I consult with that I can say, you know, here, you know, you might need the chiropractic services. You might need to go to a physical therapist. You know, you might need a therapist. I don't know, some people need a therapist. You know, I got those too. So, um, but when we think of becoming fit, we envision those big, bulky muscles, right? And we think of a lean physique, which all that's important, our end goal, obviously is to be able to look comfortable on the beach, right? Barney, you want to be in your bikini, I'm sure? Right? Speed up. Your speedo, uh, yeah, okay. But you know, the important thing that I do, the thing that I do that's a little bit different is that I start with the muscles from the inside out, the inner core, the stabilizing muscles, because if you don't have those strong, if the structure is not strong, then all those pretty muscles can look really nice but then you have a body that's inflamed because I was one of those people. I used to kill myself in the gym and then I'd be at the chiropractor office, you know, twice a week like, oh my gosh, I hurt myself again because I was killing myself at the gym. So it's better to be able to train, you know, smarter um, with your body. So a couple of the programs that I have, um, individualized personal training. I'm gonna send around this packet. You guys can take a look at that. Um, so individualized personal training, uh, virtual personal training. So I'm just starting to launch some online training. Um, I've programs over the last 16 years that I am now um, you know, starting to put out there. Customized home fitness programs. So if somebody doesn't really need to come to see me, but they want something convenient for them at home, I can give them something like that. Um, transformation packages, you know, fitness and nutrition coaching, um, motivational speaking, and things like that. So, and I've worked with all kinds of clients from athletes, you know, like I said, I have, you know, people that are coming to me who have chronic pain and are looking just to be able to go golfing again, you know, or uh, a girl who wants to dance again and she's just having you know, all kinds of pain and issues like that. I've worked with people where it's about losing weight. So I've, I've done a, a, a variety of things, but I tailor the program to meet their individual needs when it comes to that. So um, next part of it is Mosaic Nutrition, um, retraining your brain and refueling your body. So I'm a whole food-based coach. Um, so that doesn't mean that I don't ever eat meat or anything like that, but it's all about whole food. And um, that's really important because most of the time people come to me and say, oh, I eat really good, I eat great. And I'm like, okay, write it down for me, you know? And I, I try to come from a place of not judgment. It's really a journey. It's a truly a journey for people to go from eating canned raviolis to starting to have more vegetables on their plate. Like it really is. And so, and I know that, and be, being the fact that I was an educator, I understand that there needs to be micro goals and mini goals in, in order to get to those long-term goals. It's really an important piece of nutrition. It's the hardest thing for people to change, um, and it's about 70 to 80% of your results. So, a couple of my programs that I have, I have a 21-day um, whole food cleanse. Um, I had finished my ebook, and um, I'm doing a, my first private uh, support group on Facebook. So I'm going to start that Monday, so I'll let you guys kind of take a look at this. Um, I also have a program called One Size Fits One. It's a 12-week nutrition coaching program. So, And that's really about the fact that there's all kinds of things out there, all kinds of diets, all kinds of like, what's right. You know, everybody's confused with nutrition. And so, you know, we're all individuals. And that's really important as I'm talking to clients to help them understand that. It's not one size fits all, but it's one size fits one, and that's really important. So in that coaching program, what I do is spend a lot more time with habits and a lot more life coaching um, in that one. I'm, I'm doing another book, it's called Count Colors, Not Calories, so it's a 30-day lifestyle fix, so looking at the colors on your plate and you know, not being so concerned with your macros and your calories. I can do that kind of stuff, I've done it for years, but what I found is, unless you were really type A, most of, pe most of the people don't follow it, unless you're an athlete or about like a type A person. But when I am able to instill some 
education with people and motivation and really get them to drill down into why this is so important to me, that's when I can see some true change that, that is sustainable <coughs> for them. Um, customized meal planning and workshops and then motivational speaking. So this is me. So Mosaic Masterpiece Consulting, that's kind of the hub for Mosaic Fitness and Nutrition. So that's really about the fact that we have one life Right, and we our lives tell a story, and we have lots of pieces to our story that need to be assembled back together to a whole to create a masterpiece, a uh, work of art in our own life to create that legacy. And so I believe that God is the master of our piece. That's why uh, we have the misspelling up there for those of you who are like, why did she misspell that word? I know some of you were judging. It's all right. It's all good. But you know, my you know my vision is to bring hope and healing. Um, to the lives of other people with my business through the things that I am an expert at and that I can do really well. So um, I'm your fitness retrainer and whole coach. And so um, I was going to offer to you guys today, I do complimentary fitness assessments. So if you're curious to see what I do, maybe it's not for you or you work with somebody and that's fantastic. Um, but if you just want to get a feel for what I do, that's a little bit different and what separates me from other personal trainers because there's a lot of them out there. I would love to um, schedule you for that. And then I also was going to include um, my cleanse ebook. So it's about $160 value with all those things together. Um, if you really see what my assessment is, you'll agree with that, I think. Um, but my ebook, you know, I'll also put you in the private Facebook group. So if you are health curious or you just kind of want to take a look, be a voyeur, you don't have to do the cleanse, but if you want to kind of see what it's about, um, I'm going to be doing some videos, I'm going to be doing coaching calls. So it'll be a really fun time to see how online can create a support group without having to go somewhere else. All right, so Mosaic Fitness and Nutrition, Tracy Robert, and that's it. Do you guys have any questions for me? Not until he takes it off Facebook Live. Okay. <laughs>